Hey there everyone, it's Ryan Frontline Animal Removal. And I'm going to show you some raccoon damage and what it all means. So let's look at this damage. And take note that that sofa panel is bent up. And you can see paw prints right there, and that is collapsed. This was not like this yesterday. So let me go show you the other spot, and then I'll give meaning, meaning to what we just saw. Okay, so we have raccoon in the trap, and we have that soffit that's all opened up on the front of the house. Now this raccoon in this trap, this guy right here, that is number two. So two days ago, I set a trap here and I caught a raccoon and I picked it up yesterday. The soften on the front of the house was just fine. Last night, this raccoon went into my trap. I show up today to collect him and set a third trap and the soffit is all exploded on the front of the house. So what does this mean? Let me explain. When I come out to set up traps at a house, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea how many raccoons are there. I just know that there is at least one, and that's why I was called out. Sometimes we're dealing with many raccoons. At this house, I know we're dealing with at least three caught one uh, two nights ago, caught one last night, and obviously the third raccoon wanted out of the house because, well, this guy, you know, once these trap doors shut, it blocks this entry point. The problem we're having with this place is that section of roof is rotted. So the rot starts up here on this side of the chimney and it wraps around and goes all the way down to the gutter. So that third raccoon wanted out. So what did he do? He went to the front of the house, soffit collapsed, he peeled it back, and he went out that way. Are there any more raccoons here? I don't know. But I'm pretty confident if there were any left here, they're all gone because that raccoon peeled apart the front of the house and got out because this raccoon was blocking the way out. And after a few nights in the house with no water and no food, eh, he was probably getting kind of grouchy because he wanted something to eat and drink. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put this trap in place of this one, and I'm going to go to the front of the house and pop all that soffit back together. And then we're going to wait and see if any more show up. Now, according to the customer, this house has had raccoons for some time, so I'm not surprised at what I saw. And if you're having problems with raccoons, tearing apart your house, give me a call. I'll come on out and help you out. 